Toasters, how can we deal with secret supporters who are also enemies or secret enemies who are also supporters? The hearts of men. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. Toast to the men. Now, Toasters, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It is free. Yes, it is free. Now, now, Toasters, as a creator, as an artist, as a writer, as an entrepreneur, I'm on the front of the line. Uh, I'm on the front line. I'm out there. Uh, I'm accessible. I'm exposed. Right? I'm tangible. You can see me. I'm open to critique. Uh, that's a, depending on how you look at it, it could be a good thing. It could be a detriment to being someone that that's out there because not only are you open to praise, open to accolades and pats on the back, but you are also open to criticism. You're also open to hate. Now, criticism and hate are not one and the same. No, I, you can actually love me and, and, which well for me and critique me. So criticism and hate are not the same. And most times today, we misuse and overuse the word hate. Anytime, you know, you get resistance, anytime you say you're not digging something, you don't like something, or something could be fine-tuned, people say you're hating. And, and I just disagree with that, with that mindset. That's not hate. Hate to me is when you or expressing your subconscious, what's impressed upon your subconscious, now being expressed consciously that you don't have my best interest at heart, that you really uh, would take delight in me failing. And, and that could be expressed in different ways. And, and we'll get into that. Now, how can we uh, detect? or handle and deal with a supporter who is also an enemy. And you'd be like, what? A supporter who's also an enemy? Yeah, yeah, it's very possible. It happens daily. And the, uh, the enemy who's also a supporter. Now, what I mean by that is, on the front end, on the front end, this could appear to be a supporter, but they're actually an enemy. And on the front end, this could appear to be an enemy, but they're actually a supporter. Now, like I said, as creators, we're out there. As artists, we're out there. As an entrepreneur, you're going to be out there. And so you're open for critique. You're, you're open for it. And you should embrace it. You actually should embrace that. Uh, if you're not being critiqued and everybody's patting you on the back and no one can say, hey, maybe you need to you know, tune that up or maybe you need to do it, change this up. Not saying you have to listen, but if you're not getting that, uh, watch out because your demise is coming uh, because no one's perfect in anything they do. Uh, so if you're not getting some kind of critique, some kind of feedback, uh, suggesting that you, uh, you you make some things better, yeah, watch out. And so those are good things. Those are good ways to, to critique. Uh, but those same people who critique you should also be uh, showing appreciation for what you do. Should also be patting you on the back. Should also be uh, be supporting you in a positive way, just purely positive way, and, and showing you and telling you uh, how good of a job you're doing. They should be expressing that too. Uh, and so I got a few people. I got a few people who who are, well. I got quite a few people who support me. Uh, verbally and openly, quite a few, man. Uh, Pop the writer, uh, uh, my, my, my guy Soul, uh, my, my guy Lane Kid. Uh, man, I don't want to forget someone. Uh, that's that's the problem you run into when you start naming names. Um, yeah, it's quite a few people, you know. But you know, there's three people who uh, I'll go to who I have a, a relationship to where we, we visit one another. One of the person I actually live with, of course, my wife, 
but the other two people we visit one another we we have that that uh contact uh and, and that's you know pam and, and timberly you know they support me openly um uh, and my wife supports me openly verbally and and through and virtually so they support me in that way now these three people I would also go to them. I would go to them and ask for a critique. Is there anything I could change? Is there anything, um, you know, I need to fix? Because, you know, that that snap, that little jokes on me, that throw, throw the little darts at me, their jabs, <laughs> their, their funny jokes on me about some of my mannerisms, you know, or some of my sayings, uh, just, the, you know, the, thing, the way I do things on video. And you guys have probably noticed that too. So these people joke with me, but I know they have my best interests at heart. They support me verbally. They support me virtually. And so when I ask them for critique, or if I don't even ask for the critique and they give me the critique, it's received a different way because a trust has been formed. You know, I know they have my best interests at heart. And so a trust has been formed. So these are actually supporters who are also friends, right? But you got the other side of the game. You got people out there who are supporting you. They're actually supporting you. If you uh, read my posts on IG or Facebook, you're supporting me. If you watch my videos, you're help helping the algorithm. You're supporting me. You're helping my numbers. You're supporting me. Yeah, yeah, you're supporting me with that watch time. You're supporting me with that view. Even if you don't comment, I'll take that support you're giving. But you got people out there that will support you in that way, inadvertently. Like, they're not literally saying, I'm going to support him by viewing this. I'm going to support him by, by having a certain amount of watch time to his videos. They're not consciously saying this. But they'll support you in that way, but you don't hear from them. They don't comment. They don't reach out to you privately to say, hey, man, great job. Hey, man, I see you doing your thing. I see you sticking with it. Way to go. Hey, brother, I like that topic. I like that discussion. I like that content. You don't hear from these people. You know when you hear from these people? When you say something that doesn't align with their beliefs, then they'll come out. They'll hit you privately. They still won't comment. And sometimes they will, but they'll hit you privately and contest you on something. They'll show resistance. They'll want to debate. They'll tell you they didn't like that. They'll tell you they disagree, but they won't support you publicly or even reach out to you privately congratulating you, showing appreciation for what you do. See, these are supporters who are also enemies. Yeah, yeah, this happens more than you would think and so how do we deal with these people man how do we deal with these people what we're going to do we're going to love them we're going to love them still because they are supporters we're going to show appreciation for them what we're going to do is we're going to mirror what we want to receive so we're going to give them what we want to receive back so we're going to acknowledge them I'll, re I'll respond i'll answer the dms I respond to a negative comment, you know, a disrespectful comment. I'll, I'll respond to that in a gentleman-like way because that's what I want to receive back. And most times when you respond in that gentleman-like way, you respond in a professional, loving way, they tap out because they're not getting the reflection. They're not getting the energy they want. So they'll tap out. They'll fall off. But they're still watching you, I guarantee they're still watching you. I, mean, I had a brother a few months ago. I did not know this brother. Uh, I had no dealings with this brother, but he commented on one of my videos <clears throat> and he said, uh, and I'll, I'll, um, I'll try to change up the language, uh, but he was aggressive with it. Uh, but he basically said, my intro was too long. Use some cuss words. My, my intro was basically too long. I need to shorten that. S I A C H S H I T. You know, real aggressive with it. And I said, well, thank you, brother. Thank you for the support. 
because he is supporting. He is supporting uh, with their view, with their watch time that's helping me. He is supporting. Now, what he didn't know, a week prior to that, I had gone to Yaya, I had gone to my wife, and I said, man, I, I think I need to uh, shorten up my intro. I really do need to shorten up my intro. I think it's too long. And so we were on the fence with it. I believe she was like, it's okay. But I was like, nah, I think it's too long. So a week later, this guy comes out and says this to me, real aggressive. Now, he has never come in prior to that. He has never come into after that. But I did not give him the pleasure of knowing that we were on the same wavelength. And what he said was actually confirmation. I didn't give him that. He may see this now. You know, salute. But I handled that in the perfect way. I was a gentleman. I was professional. And listen, I mirrored what I wanted to receive back. I gave out what I wanted to, to, to receive. And that's how we have to do. Uh, and so a lot of these people will come out when you do something they don't like, when you say something they don't like. But the whole time, they're in the shadows listening, watching. But they only say something when it goes against their beliefs. It goes against their liking. These are supporters that are enemies and enemies who are supporters. Brothers, it's toasters, women. Listen, man. Keep keep your bearings. Keep your self-respect. You know what I'm saying? Always know people in your house are watching you. People connected to you are watching you. People who really support you from a good place are watching you. Your enemies who support you are watching you. So we got to express what we want to receive back. That's how we're going to deal with those people. But embrace critique, embrace criticism is, is part of the game. And actually you should, like I said, embrace that, man. That's a, that's a beautiful thing because you want to keep fine tuning your art, your craft, your business, your service, your product to, to be the best it could possibly be. Even if it's coming from a person with negative energy and you know it's negative energy, think on it. It might be confirmation to something you were already pondering over, like with myself. Hey, that's all I got today. As always, from me to you, love, peace. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.